Israel Adesanya is taking on Drikus Duplessis in Perth, Australia, and I can't wait for this fight. This is a fight that needs to happen, in my opinion. Now, I know it's not really a deserved title shot because Izzy hasn't really done anything, but like, there's no one else that really deserves a title shot, so I guess you kind of have to give it to Izzy. People are saying Sean Strickland. Come on, guys. Sean Strickland lost to Drikus Duplessis. It was a clear defeat. It wasn't as close as people remember. Watch the fight. Drakus, it wasn't a robbery, okay? Sean can get his title shot after. Uh, I'm sick of this entitled behavior from former champions thinking that no matter what, they deserve a title shot. And look, Israel Adesanya is one of those people, so it's kind of annoying both ways. But in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the style matchup between Israel Adesanya and Drakus Duplessis. This is a actually good matchup for Israel Adesanya because unlike Sean Strickland, Drakus Duplessis overextends he likes to take more risks in fights he's not as defensively sound he overcommits. he's a guy on the feet where israel adesanya is more likely to exploit with his counter striking style sean strickland's style is very hard to beat when all you do is back up and look for counters because sean doesn't overcommit. sean keeps a safe distance on people and sean just touches you with a jab and has really good defense really good at checking kicks against people who move on the back foot but i do think i do think that Drakus Duplessis can win this fight. And the reason why is Israel Adesanya is just another guy that Drakus can figure out. It's not, there's, there is no puzzle to Israel Adesanya, okay? There's a, there are guys where it's genuinely really hard to think how to beat them. Israel Adesanya is not one of those guys. He's a very, he's been figured out so many times and he has been outstruck. And I think people overrate him so much going into this fight, pretending that he's just so much better than Drakus Duplessis on the feet. I mean, one guy outstruck Sean Strickland, the other didn't. Like, can we stop pretending that DDP is some, like, ah, oh, Izzy's just so much better on the feet than Drakus? Yeah, maybe he's fundamentally better, but Drakus is arguably more effective at this point of his career. I mean, he destroyed Robert Whittaker compared to Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya lost to Robert Whittaker. Then Israel Adesanya fights Sean Strickland, and Israel Adesanya loses that. So, in my opinion, I think Drakus Duplessis, his... Fight IQ is very good, and he showed that in the Robert Whitaker fight, and he showed that in the Sean Strickland fight. He's not this guy that fights dumb. He fights smart, even though it doesn't look like it. He does. He comes in there with a the game plan. He comes in there with the right approach. And I think against Israel Adesanya, he's going to come in there with the right approach to defeat Izzy. Now, I don't know how motivated Izzy is. He's been champion. He's been champion again. I don't, I don't think anything will ever top him knocking out Alex Pereira unless he like becomes like... Some cr does some crazy shit, but I don't think any anything to him will ever top that moment. So, beating Drakus Duplessis just to me, I don't know how motivated Izzy is going into this, and I'm not trying to you know make excuses. Oh, if Izzy loses, like, look, Izzy is kind of at the point where he's just kind of showing up because why not, right? You're you're getting a title shot, you know, you never really turn that down. If you get the opportunity, you, you usually take it no matter what. And I think I think Izzy is just not going to be at his absolute best anyway and even if he is i don't know if it's enough to be drakus duplessis now something could happen you know is he could show up with gyno drakus could fight stupid and for the first time in his career I, i'm very aware uh, i need to see how you know these next i don't know i'm getting a feel that you know Dr you know we don't know if drakus you know will put on a scuba mask for this fight if you know what i mean we we don't he might take a scuba dive i i don't know uh I do think that Drakus Duplessis will probably defeat Israel Adesanya. Not to mention his grappling. That's my point. Uh, Drakus will not overextend. I think Drakus will work the body in this fight. Go to the legs of Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya is not a savant at checking leg kicks. That's the, that's the truth. I know he's a kickboxer, but he's not a savant at checking leg kicks. And that's the truth. And on top of that, uh, Drakus Duplessis is not like Robert Whittaker or like Sean Strickland, in my opinion. I think, I mean, not like Robert Whittaker in terms of... Drakus Duplessis doesn't have to fight the same way. He's not... When Robert Whitaker fought smart against Israel Adesanya, he beat him. You know what I mean? So why why can't Drakus do the same thing? You could say Drakus is not as fast as Whitaker, but one thing Drakus is is tougher than Robert Whitaker and stronger than Robert Whitaker and a better grappler than Robert Whitaker. And I just think Israel Adesanya has gotten a lot of lucky moments, man. A lot of lucky moments in his career. The the first Whitaker fight, Whitaker coming off a long layoff off those Romero Wars, fought like a stupid idiot, gets KO'd. Romero should have won that fight, in my opinion. Uh, Jan Blahovic beat him. Marvin Vittori is one of the most mediocre fighters in like the high level, the parts of MMA, like in terms of like in his division, like he's one of the most mediocre guys we've seen. Like I I don't see how beating Marvin Tori really proves to me he can be DDP. 
He beat, he lost to Whitaker. He beat Kenmuir in a tough fight, man. He's having tough fights on the feet with people who don't even have the threat of the takedown. Unless, in my opinion, personally, unless unless DDP puts on a scuba mask or gets caught with a fluky shot, uh, you know that puts him stiff out. Just you know, Drickus can't do anything to recover. Drickus Duplessis wins this fight. Okay, I know people are pretending that this style matchup is a nightmare for Drickus, and yeah, technically it is. But I don't think. Look, my current prediction is I don't think Drakus is going to fight the same way in this fight. I think Drakus is a guy that fights the style to his opponent's uh, strengths. And I don't see Drakus just getting casually knocked out by Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya's power is a little over uh, overhyped in terms of his counter ability. Like, I, I get he's a good counter striker, but Whitaker, all he does is that shit, you know? In, in terms of, like, he's got, like... This blitz, and I just think Drake is, is more is, is a smarter fighter than Whitaker. I think he's stronger, uh, grappler than Whitaker. I think he's got a better chin than Whitaker. He's more likely to knock Israel Adesanya out than Robert Whitaker is, or than uh, Paulo Costos. But I mean, Paulo Costos, what was he doing in there against Izzy? I just Izzy's career. I, I think Drake is, is a smart guy, and he's learned from the mistakes that previous opponents have made against Israel Adesanya. And I think Drake is, is not going to make those same mistakes. I think he's going to be able to defeat Israel Adesanya probably by decision or by a submission in the third round by a rear naked choke. Uh, I do think that Izzy might win this. I might change my prediction. This is just my initial prediction. I think Drake is duplicity gets this one done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.